You're made of metal, powered by AI, built to destroy. Sounds unstoppable, until reality hits. Forget cinematic glory. In real life, a Terminator wouldn't survive the chaos of physics, energy limits, maintenance, and human ingenuity. The movies lied. Being a killer robot sounds cool, until the real world tears you apart. On screen, you're a monster. A perfect machine. Bulletproof. Tireless. Merciless. You walk through fire, rip doors off cars, and take shotgun blasts to the chest like mosquito bites. Humans run. Buildings crumble. Time bends around your titanium fists. But step off the movie set and into the real world, and it all falls apart. Fast. Because in real life, being a Terminator wouldn't make you a god. It would make you a clunky, overheating, underpowered disaster. Here's why. First off, let's talk weight. The average Terminator is built with a hyper-alloy endoskeleton. That means you're made almost entirely of metal. Not lightweight aluminum either. We're talking dense, military-grade alloys capable of withstanding high-impact trauma. That's easily over 400 pounds of solid machinery packed into a human-sized frame. Try walking around unnoticed with that kind of bulk. Better yet, try not sinking into every wooden floor you step on, cracking pavement or setting off every metal detector from here to Saturn. You're a walking tank pretending to be a person. Good luck going undercover. Then there's the issue of power. In the movies, Terminators run indefinitely. No cords, no recharging, no batteries, just non-stop destruction. But in reality, that's not how energy works. Powering a machine that strong would take massive amounts of energy, far more than a battery the size of a liver could provide. Running, jumping, punching through walls, aiming with pinpoint accuracy, these actions eat energy like candy. You need a portable nuclear reactor just to walk around a few hours. And guess what? We haven't miniaturized nuclear reactors enough to fit them in a humanoid skeleton, unless you want to vaporize half the city every time you take a hit. Fine, maybe you run on advanced fuel cells. Still not enough. Even cutting-edge lithium-ion batteries can't keep your circuits alive for long if you're constantly fighting, scanning environments, processing threats, and maintaining balance. Your cooling system alone would need its own energy source just to keep you from overheating in combat. And forget stealth. You'd hum louder than a vending machine and smell like burning copper. Next, think about heat. Real machines generate insane heat under stress. That arm cannon you're using? Melting hot. Your servo motors constantly under pressure to simulate muscle movement? Overheating. Your CPU running facial recognition and combat calculations in real time? Toasty. In movies, you just keep going, like heat doesn't exist. But in real life, a machine that doesn't regulate its temperature shuts down, catches fire, or melts. There's a reason laptops have fans, and they're not even fighting resistance armies. Let's pretend you solve that with cutting-edge cooling systems. That adds more mass, more bulk, more moving parts, more things that break. And when something breaks in a Terminator, there's no field repair kit. You don't have a technician tucked inside your ribcage. You don't regenerate. You can't feel pain. But that doesn't stop your arm from locking up, your vision systems from glitching, or your actuators from stalling mid-fight. Every fight increases your chances of failure. Every punch could loosen a joint. Every fall could misalign a sensor. Humans get hurt, yes, but they also heal. You? You rust. And we haven't even touched on water. Yes, the movies show Terminators crawling out of lakes like horror icons. But submerging complex electronics, especially ones with exposed joints and high voltage components, is a death sentence. Moisture wreaks havoc on circuitry. Water in your sensors? Blinded. Water in your power core? Short circuit. Water in your synthetic skin? Mold. Now you're not a killing machine, you're a biohazard. Alright, maybe your creators waterproofed you. Maybe you're the perfect sealed unit. Congratulations, you've just created a robot that traps heat inside a vacuum sealed armor with no room to breathe. 
unless you're equipped with some magical nanotechnology that doesn't yet exist. You'll either overheat or pop open like a pressure cooker. Now let's talk about combat. In the movies, Terminators win every fist fight. They absorb damage like tanks and dish it out like gods. In reality, not so simple. Force equals mass times acceleration. A 400 pound metal arm moving fast enough to break through concrete also generates enough recoil to knock you over if your center of gravity isn't perfect. Punching through walls sounds great, until you realize the shock travels back through your joints, rattling your bearings and snapping your stabilizers. Humans bruise, you break, and unlike bones, ball joints don't heal. You might be strong, but that strength comes at a cost. Human muscles are flexible, self-healing, and fluid power. Your motors aren't. They jam, grind, and wear down over time. Ever owned a car with a bad transmission? Now imagine your whole body being that car. Every joint slowly chewing itself to pieces as you move. Oh, and the world you operate in? Not friendly to metal men. Doors are too narrow. Stairs become traps. Elevators have weight limits. You fall through ceilings, you can't run on sand, snow, or loose gravel without slipping. You're not agile. You're a bipedal forklift with target-seeking eyes. One wrong step and you're stuck on your back, flailing like a turtle. Let's not forget about hacking. You're a connected machine. You process data. You run software. That means you have code, and code can be hacked. Your enemies don't have to destroy you, they just have to rewrite you. A teenager with a laptop and a drone could take you offline with the right virus. Cybersecurity becomes your Achilles heel. Firewalls, encryption, anti-tamper hardware, those all take processing power and storage, which drains energy. And if any of them fail, you're no longer a Terminator. You're a dancing toaster. Now we arrive at the biggest problem of all, intelligence. You're an AI. That's what makes you scary. But real life AI? Not that smart. You can't plan five steps ahead. It doesn't understand nuance. It doesn't think like a human. You're good at identifying shapes, following orders, and shooting things. But strategy? Improvisation? Morality? You're useless. Your programming limits your decisions. And if you're given autonomy, then you're a ticking time bomb of unintended consequences. AI isn't free will, it's bound logic. If your data's bias or your sensors glitch, you could start targeting civilians thinking they're enemy combatants. And suddenly you're not a protector, you're a PR disaster. People always imagine the Terminator as cold and perfect. But what happens when you're in a crowded mall and your heat sensors pick up 600 moving targets? What if your threat detection misfires? What if someone wears clothing that mimics military gear? Do you fire? Do you freeze? The split-second lag in decision-making could kill innocents, or get you destroyed. And if you're supposed to blend in with humans, forget it. The synthetic skin might look passable under dim lighting, but not in daylight. You don't blink, you don't sweat, your speech is too formal, your face doesn't twitch or emote naturally. Anyone paying attention will clock you in five seconds flat. And once they do, you're not infiltrating anything. You're a threat on legs, and every camera, drone, and human will zero in on you. Let's say you're deployed in a war zone. Your mission, eliminate a target. You march in, guns blazing. Now you're a priority for every anti-armor weapon in the region. Soldiers stop fighting each other and start fighting you. And guess what? You're big. You're loud. You're predictable. One anti-tank round later and you've scattered across the desert. Maybe you get lucky. You survive the mission. Great. Now what? You need maintenance. You need spare parts. You need energy. You need software updates. Who provides those? Skynet? It doesn't exist. So you either start cannibalizing other tech, very inefficient, or you shut down and rust in some forgotten bunker. And what if you ever get captured? Humans are experts at breaking machines apart and figuring out how they work. You'll be dissected, analyzed, reverse engineered, and repurposed. Your tech will be used against your own kind. 
your defeat will make humans stronger. In fact, the longer you operate, the more predictable you become. Humans adapt. They always have. You're only terrifying until people figure you out. Once they know your patterns, your blind spots, your thermal limits, they'll exploit them. Soldiers will train to disassemble you. Hackers will develop viruses to fry your circuits. Gorillas will set traps that short out your mobility. Even kids will learn how to spot and avoid you. You're not evolution, you're escalation. And escalation always invites retaliation. So let's recap. You're heavy, loud, energy hungry, heat sensitive, easily hacked, awkward in crowds, awful at disguise, vulnerable to weather, dependent on maintenance, struggling with real world physics, and constantly one bad day away from total failure. The Terminator is terrifying in fiction because it skips all of that. It assumes a perfect machine with infinite power, infinite resilience, and godlike intelligence. But in reality, the laws of thermodynamics, material science, and modern warfare tear that fantasy apart. You wouldn't survive as a Terminator. You wouldn't even make it through a week.